When something clicks in your mind, it makes sense. And this school year, like no other, assignments aren't the only things clicking as Lebanon Trail High School students log in to their classes. When this school year started out online, teachers varied with the amount of time they required students to stay on. I've found that with the smaller in-person classes that are just temporarily virtual, uh, we can knock things out and move pretty quickly. I just want them to stay connected. We're not always working through something together, but sometimes they are in breakout rooms and I want to be available in case they have any questions. Um, and then we usually set a time where we come together at the end. I mean, the rationale isn't just to hold them for the sake of them being there the whole time. It's just to accomplish what I want to get done for the day. Students and teachers agree that there are pros and cons when it comes to online school. A pro of that of asynchronous was for people who have tighter schedules, they could work around it um, better. But I think for a lot of people, they're not like disciplined enough to get their work done. I'm really bad with technology in general. And so like doing anything where say they're going too fast, I can't keep up and I get lost and like I don't know what I'm doing. Um, some pros about synchronous are that you can ask the teacher questions like when while she's teaching and as a class you can like um, talk with your peers if you don't understand something. But I like the uh, asynchronous time to break out into the small groups where I can go talk to you know a group of three, four, five kids and actually get to you know, have a real conversation as opposed to staring at a, as a big grid screen of faces. Synchronous time, the pro would be, you know, everybody's together, so you're getting to know each other. You are seeing that other students have the same questions that you have. Um, so, I mean, I think it helps with morale. At the end of three weeks, students had the option to return to face-to-face -face learning or to stay virtual. They had a variety of reasons for the choice that they made. I feel like I learn better virtually, so um, I'm happy with my choice and I'd honestly prefer staying virtual. At points where it's difficult learning, I regret choosing online, but apparently it's the same like in school too because you're learning online as well, so I don't regret regret that much choosing virtual. Students who moved back to in-person school were affected by the change. Seeing faces in person again was nice. Um, also the interaction with the teacher is a lot easier. It's sort of hard because I'm in school for like eight hours a day to actually manage my like energy. My grades definitely got a lot worse because at home I can do my work a lot faster. I do enjoy being in person just because it's easier to talk to people. You can get more one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. It seems the consensus is how someone learns isn't as valuable as the quality of the learning. I'm Nathan Lowenstein for Vanguard TV.